Kenny Maine with this evening's cover story. He's one of the most remarkable human beings I've ever known. I've got a good friend who's a very successful minister who had polio as a child. One of his legs is withered, and one of his great, great sermons is, I have a limp, but the limp doesn't have me. Well, Harold had a brutal situation, but the brutal situation doesn't have Harold. <laughs> Harold Dennis stares down the situation daily without blinking. And without hesitation, he's walked on at the University of Kentucky. Walked into this having played just one season of high school football as a soccer player turned kicker. At Kentucky, he and his 4-5-40 speed were moved to receiver. It is not easy to succeed as a Division I-A walk-on, but nothing seems quite so daunting after having survived May 14, 1988, the night of the Carrollton crash. The bus was struck by a pickup truck traveling the wrong way on I-71 near Carrollton, Kentucky. Good evening, I'm John McGrath. It has been a day of agony for family and friends of the teenagers as they wait for word of their loved one's fate. There were 67 people on that bus, mostly kids of the junior high school age. 27 died. It is the worst drunk driving related accident in United States history. Dennis suffered third degree burns to his face and shoulder, which later scarred. He needed eyebrow implants and ear reconstruction, but he was rescued from the bus. He survived. I used to wonder a lot, I still wonder a lot, you know, why me, you know, why did he choose me? But I mean, I guess that's in the hands of, you know, God and he, I guess he had some type of plan for me and everyone else that survived. But when you're 14 years old, some plans are inexplicable. You try to comprehend. All the nurses were told, you know, don't let him look at himself. I, I'd never seen my, my face when it happened. They said, don't let him look at himself yet. He's not ready. And one of the nurses, you know, I asked for a mirror. You know, I was stubborn. I asked for a mirror, and she gave it to me. And, I mean, that, that really hurt me bad. You know, it, it hit me real hard, and I, I cried for a long time. And, I mean, stupid as it may sound, one of the major things I thought about was girls, you know. You know, girls aren't going to like me anymore. I'm not going to be able to approach these girls. And, you know, it was stupid things like that. In 1991, he met Andrea Mackey. They've been together ever since. She wanted to meet me. You know, she, she said that it wasn't my appearance that, that, drew, that drew her towards me. It was, you know, my personality. You know, I was funny, you know. I try to put myself in her place and think, you know, if am I the type of person that if, if I saw a girl that had ample amount of scars like me, you know, would I want to be with them in that sense or would I approach them? And... I mean, I, I looked up. I look up to her, you know, greatly for that. Harold reaches deep inside during the talks he gives to groups such as Students Against Drunk Driving. The words are intentionally graphic, uncomfortable, powerful. At the time, I couldn't see anything because because of the third degree burns in my face. My head, my face had swollen, kind of like an example I'll use is if you put a hot dog in the microwave and you don't like put cuts in it, it'll swell up and eventually burst. Well, that's pretty much how my face did when it was burned. He believes it's important not to hide from reality. Do you ever still walk a bit with your head down like, I don't want to deal with it, you know, some guy's going to look at me and say something? No, it's, I'm, like I said before, I mean, I've gotten through all that, and, you know, people, are, they're just going to just gonna look at me, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to look back, but, you know, a lot of times people can't help it. The helmet could act as an emotional shield beyond what's needed for protection. But just as he wasn't afraid to put it on for a tryout, neither does he fear taking it off. And if one looks deep enough, Harold Dennis appears unscarred. The coaches have long respected him as a person. He is now gaining their respect as a player. Charity won't win Division I-A games. One day I looked over there and he's catching punts. This is a soccer player. He's catching punts and running through people and running over people. I look at him and I'm like, this guy, at any point, he could just lay down and quit, but that's not his, his drive. He doesn't want to do that. He just wants to keep on going and striving. And for the other players to look at him and see him doing that, I think it's encouraging for them as well. If I was in his shoes, I would see it. If I made it through that, I can make it through anything. I'm out there to, to see if I can do it, you know, to prove it to myself. But I'm also out there so people, you know, can look at me and say, you know, ah, oh, you know, look what he's doing, you know, look what happened to him, and look what he's doing, you know, if, if he can do it, maybe I can do it. Now, I'd be very surprised if he doesn't end up playing. The fact he survived would have been considered a surprise at one time. The way he lives surprises no one Harold has touched. If you do decide to drink, then, I mean, just remember to yourself that you could be possibly setting yourself up for some type of disaster, and, and not only should you be 
conscious of your life, but you may put everyone else's life in danger too. Thank you. The Kentucky Wildcats are one in nine this year. They close what has been a very long season Saturday at Tennessee. Harold Dennis has yet to see any game action this year. Chances are he will not this week, but still it has been a season of growth and example for Harold Dennis and for those around him. Still ahead later tonight, the life and times of Danny Manning. Life is good for Danny. We will see what his time in Phoenix means to the Suns and what it is proving about Danny Manning. And next on the eve of the college basketball season, we will pinpoint the early games of this year that could be the indicators of what March could be like.